Hi there, I'm here in Islamabad, just uh, finished our fundraising uh, session. I was on the stage fundraising for a charity. And when I came off the stage, um, a number of people asked me, Habib, how do you do it? Uh, you make it look so easy, uh, delivering the message and raising funds. I thought maybe I'll share with you my this mind map which I've developed and I use it every time I'm on the stage. I've been doing stage fundraising for the last 10 years now, uh, mainly community fundraising where people organize um, maybe fundraising dinners, concerts, and I get a chance, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes on the stage and uh, fundraise. And um, I'm very grateful uh, to Almighty God who has uh, blessed me uh, with skills. I worked hard, I've developed these skills, but uh, I do believe ultimate blessing comes from Almighty God. Uh, but the main thing is you've got to do the hard work. Anyway, um, just to summarize the key elements of this mind map, which is in my mind when I'm on the stage, is as follows. Number one, I ask myself, what is the cause? What is the reason? The big why? What? Why should people give money? Second, what do I understand about the cause? This project or the case? Uh, people have asked me to fundraise for the situation on the ground. How, what do I know about it? If I don't, I make sure I do understand fully. Because when I speak, I want to speak with confidence. I want First, I want to believe in the cause. I will never fundraise for something, for a project which I didn't believe myself in. So make sure you believe. And your belief comes with understanding. You have to understand the cause and believe yourself first before you will be able to convince others and they will believe in the cause. So good understanding is step, uh, step number three. Uh, number two, sorry. Third thing which I always, de uh, I've developed myself a lot is, is uh, stories. I'm always looking for stories. Every time when I'm driving around, I even look for stories. Personal, look, there's a child coming here. He's, uh, because I'm part in the, in the, in the traffic and he's selling uh, books um, there. Now that is a personal story. I've just seen that boy, he should be in a school. Not selling books out here, but there is a reason why he's here. Anyway, that's a, so there's a lot of stories. You always um, make sure you have a good database of stories and you use them appropriately. Uh, make sure they are snappy, they are sharp and make sure you tell them with emotions. Emotional speech, that's fundraising. Fundraising is about driving individuals, the audience emotionally. Make sure they are emotionally driven to act an act which you want them to carry out which is in giving donations financial support so the third element is the storytelling I love st telling stories make sure you have a good story which is matches with the cause that's another important thing maybe I'll blog uh, separately on this how to put stories together and uh, how to make it keep a simple snappy ones not not waffle um, the fourth thing which uh, in my mind map is once I've told the story is now it comes to myself or the organization I'm representing. Why give it to us? What's the reason? What's so special about our organization? The platform where I'm standing from. Why should people support this? What experience do we have? Have we got any previous history there? Have we got any success stories to tell? Have we done any delivery work there in that, uh, in that uh, area? Do we have any ex expertise, experience? We have the right people. And, uh, and so on. So there's a profile of your, your charity in that sector, in that area. Explain, give evidence, give, share maybe a, a success story with people. So people see, wow, these guys know their business. <clears throat> Next thing, once you've done that, is um, once you've explained to people uh, why they should give it to you, what's so special about you, what's so unique, then the last one, ask. So many times I have witnessed myself, people going onto the stage, doing amazing uh, pitch, amazing talk, inspirational. The last, the most important thing they forget or they are too shy is an asking. It, the, the fundraising is about asking. You have to ask, don't be shy. Be upfront and explain to people. 
make sure it is tangible make sure it's a specific ask you're not generalizing or you're not leaving it an open ask what does that mean that means saying to people well we need money and we would appreciate whatever you can give us what do you mean whatever is that a pound is it a, a, a dollar is it ten thousand dollars what do you need be specific if it's ten ten thousand pounds explain to people your target is ten thousand pounds but if you give us five hundred or a thousand pound each i can find 10 people in the audience who are the 10 people who can give you a thousand each or 20 people who can give you 500 pounds and then explain what that 500 pound is going to do what that 10 a uh, thousand pound is going to achieve so it's a tangible people can see it's like an investment if they are paying this some money what do what are they buying what's the impact of that money what difference is it going to make into people's lives or whatever the project is and so maybe you're trying to I don't know, stop, set up a, a, an animal home care center or, or whatever. Uh, maybe it's an environmental project you have. What's the impact of that, that money which they are donating to you? So make sure you explain that to them and then ask for it. Don't be shy. Just keep uh, focus on that in the last part is about asking and keep relating to the main theme of, of uh, why you're on the stage. And uh, that's it. And I've reached my state, my my destination here as well. Uh, sorry, I, I'm not sure whether you you seen my face there or not, but it doesn't matter. Main thing is about the message, and I hope you enjoyed the view in the back anyway. Uh, but here is um, my summary of what I, my mind map looks like uh, in terms of stage fundraising. I will blog more. I think I will blog more. How to prepare? What do I do before? All based on my personal experience of my 10 years stage fundraising. How do you prepare? How do you rehearsal? How do you practice? How do you review? How do you make it better and so on? How do you put together a business case? How do you put together a case statement? How do you put together a cause? And so on. There's so many different elements in there. Uh, but I don't want to go on and on about it. But uh, what I would suggest is maybe subscribe to the my channel. Because every time I load a, a, a video, you'll get a, a notice, uh, an email, that uh, which you can... Um, click and watch the video i'm on the twitter habib underscore malik uh, on facebook as well malik al habib that's my facebook page we can all connect it's all about connection it's about working together so i hope you enjoyed that and uh, i hope it is a bit, was a bit beneficial to you and uh, hopefully speak to you very soon have a nice day and stay blessed